Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you've all had a wonderful day. Today's video is another book date and I have finished uh, A Frost at Christmas by R.D. Wingfield. This was the sixth book in my 19 books in 2019. I actually really enjoyed this one. I found it a really, really easy read. Um, basically, um, Inspector Frost is an inspector and he solves crimes. And basically a young girl went missing um, and where was the other bit as well? So yeah, basically a girl went missing and um, Frost has to try and find out where she is and what's happened to her and also they um, find a skeleton from about 50 years before so there's all that so there's there's about three different crimes going on in this at one time which I found really interesting I thought it was nice that it wasn't solely concentrated on the fact that the young girl had gone missing um, so I did like the fact there was a lot more to it than that whilst that main storyline was sort of going on there was sort of little bits and bobs happening um, so I won't give you spoilers at the minute I will let you know when I'm going to go into spoilers um, but basically I thought this was a great book I really recommend reading them I, I believe this is the second one in the Frost series um, I believe so I think this is the second one so you have a touch of frost then you have frost at Christmas then night frost hard frost winter frost and then there's some other ones as well I believe I can't yeah I'm, I'm not sure on the order but I believe this is the second one um, I have been on the lookout for some others um, but as I'm obviously trying not to buy anything at the moment I haven't bought any but I've only seen one and I yeah I have I haven't bought any but I do really recommend this one if you haven't read any of them I think it is a great read so before I go on to spoilers for this I am just gonna tell you that this is the book I have moved on to um, it's Simon Pegg's autobiography, Nerd Do Well. I have started it. Um, yeah, I've started it. This is the next book I'm going into. This is book seven. So, if you want spoilers for this, then stick with me. If you don't want spoilers, then I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Okay, spoilers for the rest of you. So, um, yeah, basically, 10 days to Christmas, Tracy Uphill, aged 8, hasn't come home from Sunday school. Her mother, a pretty young prostitute, is desperate. Enter Detective Inspector Jack Frost, sloppy, scruffy, and insubordinate, to help him investigate the case of the missing child. Frost has been assigned a new sidekick, the chief constable's nephew, fresh to provincial Denton in an oversmart suit, Detective Constable Clive Bernard is an easy target for Frost's withering satire. Assisted and annoyed by Bernard, Frost, complete with a store of tasteless anecdotes to fit every occasion, proceeds with the investigation in typically unorthodox style. After he's consulted a local witch, Dead Man's Hollow yields up a skeleton. Frost finds himself drawn into an unsolved crime from the past and risks not only his career but also his life. Okay, so basically, the main story in this is that Tracy has gone missing and... Um, he gets given the case because the inspector that had the case became unwell so he gets given the case to take over and it's sort of down to him to organise various sort of um, groups going out to search for her, things like that. So that's happening and then um, they have no leads, they don't really know what's going on, somebody's sort of robbing a bank or trying to rob a bank so there's that going along alongside. Um, and then they go and speak to like a witch and she tells them that there's a body in um, Dead Man's Hollow so they or like a skeleton so they go and dig it up and find out that it was like an old bank clerk from like 50 years before that um, was meant to be taking money from one bank to another um, and that's sort of going on but neither person so it was two separate crimes um, they're kind of interlinked. So basically the witch that told them about the body in the wood, 
she used to work for um, the bank, so she obviously knew him, didn't know that the crime happened at the time, and like, that, basically, I'm trying to explain this well, because it was a little bit confusing for me. Um, so the money was meant to go from one bank to another, and there was like a separate, like, one of the people that was taking the money to the bank was going to steal it with another person um, because the other person needed it to pay off their son's debts and things. She sort of knew something strange was going on but never mentioned it at the time and then obviously the body sort of appeared and she sort of knew that the body was there and it you sort of wonder for a few chapters how she knew the body was there and then at the end it all comes sort of discovered that she actually killed Tracy who's the little girl so Tracy does is dead uh, she killed Tracy and when she went to bury her in Dead Man's Hollow she came across the body of the skeleton or the skeleton from the bank robbery so she knew that there was something going on she sort of had insight into that and Frost thought she'd originally killed Tracy anyway or had something to do with the bank robbery um, incident from a long time ago but he couldn't understand how she would know that the body was there because he doesn't believe in you know sort of the supernatural and things like that um, but I really didn't see it coming I didn't I, I honestly thought that she was going to turn up or that there was a vicar in this that was a little bit dodgy, shall we say. And he was sort of taking pictures of like young schoolgirls and things. And I did think maybe it was him that had done it. Um, so I had my cards on completely different people for both crimes the whole way through. And then when it sort of revealed itself at the end, it was like... Oh, actually, yeah, when you think about it, they they are the ones that make perfect sense. I know I've explained this incredibly badly, but I really do recommend this book. I think it is great. I really did like it. I will be giving it away or selling it on or something because I just don't have the space for it. And now I know the story, I know I wouldn't read it again. Um, it wasn't a book that I loved enough to reread lots and lots, but it was definitely worth the read. So, for those of you that stuck around for spoilers, I'm just going to mention this one really quickly. So, Simon Pegg, um, he has starred in a few of my absolute favourite films, uh, Shaun of the Dead. Um, oh my goodness, I've forgotten it. It's literally gone straight out of my head. Um, but basically, he wrote a book. <laughs> called Nerd Do Well, and it says, Zombies in North London, Death Cults in the West Country, the engineering deck of the Enterprise, actor, comedian, writer, and self-proclaimed super geek Simon Pegg has been ploughing some bizarre furrows in recent time, having busted onto the small screen in the gut-busting and now legendary sitcom Spaced. His enduring appeal and rise to nation's favourite son status has been... Um, mercurial, met meteoric, m megatronic, but mostly just plain great. Um, so I have seen Spaced a few times, I think, or I've seen a few episodes, and I did quite like it. Um, but it says, from his childhood and subsequently adult obsession with science fiction, his enduring friendship with Nick Frost and his forays into stand-up comedy, which began with his regular Monday morning slot in front of his 12-year-old classmates, Simon has always had a severe and dangerous case of the funnies. So sit back, relax, and let Simon Pegg and his faithful robotic butler, Canterbury, take you on a spectacular journey of self-discovery. Or take this book to school and swap it for something cooler. Dotted with a cast of memorable characters that have helped shape the life and career of a complex, dynamic and unstoppable man, Nerd Do Well is the joyous tale of a homegrown superstar and a local boy made good. Um, oh, here it is at the back. So Hot Fuzz was the other one, that was the one I was trying to think of. Um, so Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz I absolutely love, I think they're hilarious. Um, and I've been looking out for this one in a charity shop absolutely ages ago and it, it has been on my shelf forever. Um, so yeah, it is the seventh book in my 19 books in 2019. So I have got a little way into it. I don't know if you, there's my bookmark. Um, and so far it's okay, it's not gripping me. Um, but I think autobiography is quite difficult. Um, depending on who it is and who you're reading about and things. So I think this one is going to take me a little while to get into. Um, 
but there will be an update on that for when I finish it. But yeah, that is everything for me for this um, book date. I really hope I didn't confuse too many of you with my spoilers for Frost. Um, it was just a really good detective story and I really do recommend it. Um, but yeah, that's everything for me. I will see you guys hopefully very soon with my next book date. Um, because I feel like I'm doing okay, but I feel like I could be going a little bit quicker for the amount of books I have left for this year. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Bye.